All right, hello. Welcome back to another uh, episode of uh, Noob University. Uh, brought to you by the Active Transportation Alliance. Jason Jenkins, Jeff Rose. Hey everyone. Uh, we're gonna do a quick physics lesson dealing with um, with helmets. Those who are new to the world of bicycling might be surprised that helmets can actually be a, a somewhat contentious issue. Big extremes, yeah, right? Definitely. The, the extreme pro end would be to wear a helmet always on a bike, in a car, in bed. <laughs> if you don't, you're gonna die. Every child who sustains a brain injury, it's your fault. On the flip side, the wearing helmets is just a, a scam by the bicycle helmet lobby to make you buy more helmets. They don't actually do anything. The tests are fake. Why would you waste your money on something like that? All helmets are a subsidiary of the military industrial complex. True. I heard. Also true. Also, yeah. here's the theory. So, you, you know, you, you slap your head on the ground wearing a helmet and the helmet uh, takes that force, transfers it around your head, disperses it through the helmet and kind of destroys the helmet in the process, uh, rather than transmitting that force into your into head your skull and, and your brain, and your brain and <laughs> resulting in a traumatic brain injury, right? So we're going to put it to the test. We're just going to see what a helmet does. Um, so first we need to go out and we need to find um, a good stand-in for a human head. So we're going to do some rigorous scientific experiments and we'll be back. All right, so we've got our melons. Two human heads. Two human heads. Um, we went and did a lot of research and found that all these watermelons are actually identical to yeah. the human head I mean, in, um, in every respect. Weight, hardness, density. Mm -hmm. When you shake it around, you can hear the liquid inside. So yes, yeah, so this is science. Respect it. Okay, it's hard science. I've got this old helmet. Found one that fits. Jeff has been kind enough to uh, loan us his. This is the uh, GoPro Hero 3 and you can take I want to say 200 frames per second. Which would let us slow it down to 10 times uh, yeah. normal speed. It's super slow mo is what you're going to see. We're going to try smashing the, the helmeted melon first. Then hopefully we're going to see the, the, the helmet take the, the brunt of the force. And and then maybe just just for fun, we'll see what happens without a helmet. Yeah. Alright. All right, let's do this. We're just going to do this. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> contrast um, let's go ahead and try it you want to try it once without a helmet yeah all right let's see what happens without the helmet. that thing's that thing's waterproof right yeah okay totally waterproof <laughs> all right here we go Sorry. Ta-da! 